Right, what an incredible morning to be looking at what is potentially an incredible product. Um, I can't believe this is the third release of the TaylorMade P790 irons. Would you believe first set was 2017, 2019, and now obviously 2021. We've got what was a game changer back in 2017, and how good are they gonna be in 2021? I'm gonna be looking at what changes have been made, how they differ from previous models, but ultimately, how they perform in the hands of this average golfer. Right, so as I've said, three models, and to be honest with you, ever since the first model, I was a massive fan in terms of how these looked visually. So I'm not gonna criticize previous models. I do think they've cleaned it up a little bit. There's less markings on the back of the club. It's become a little bit more tidier, if you like, at the back end, but no great differences yet again in terms of how it looks visually. Uh, in terms of shelf appeal, but what it does look different to me, and again, this review is very much based on, and this part is, I've got no technical information whatsoever, so I've got no pre preconceived ideas. I'm gonna test this club, and I'll give you my immediate feedback, and we'll look at tech spec later. But what is really noticeable is the shaping of the club seems very different. First of all, notice it from the two soles. I've got the previous model of the seven iron. There's very much a difference at the heel end and the way in which the club head is connected to the hosel seems very different it's a lot thinner the sole unit it seems to me on the new 790 and then when you look at them at the back end and we'll show some close-ups now it's don't get me wrong it's not it's not obvious but there is a definite definite difference in the shaping it almost seems the new model more of a player's type iron if you like they've definitely made it sort of shorter in and around the uh, the heel and then when you get to the toe end, it seems just a little bit longer in terms of the overall blade length. And I might be completely wrong. We'll see if that's backed up in terms of that tech spec a bit later on. But for me, like I said, I suppose the word that I used in amongst that is more towards a player's iron. So I think the profile, although the top line remains the same, the overall profile and size of the club seems that little bit smaller. And it definitely appeals more to me. Now, something that has changed since those uh, initial models of the P790s is the introduction of the P770s. And I think that's been a great way in which you can now look to blend your set very easily indeed, and they look very, very similar. And perhaps again, just going back to what I mentioned earlier on about how the P790 now looks, it's probably much more in line with uh, the P770. So perhaps that uh, seems obvious now, that's perhaps what they've done blends the sets and no noticeable difference in the bag. And I think this is the area that you might want to blend it, depending on the type of player you are. For a 9.9, it's a fairly hefty top line. And for me, if I was choosing to play these clubs, maybe down the wedge up to sort of 7.9, I'd look to blend it in with, um, with the P770s, because that's still, even though it's, it's really nice, for me personally, just a little bit too much mass on that top line at address. The other thing is that um, where I'm, where I'm going to try and do at least on this uh, hole here is we've got 126 downwind i've only got a nine iron in hand and ordinarily this would be way too big so trying to play half a shot with this type of club is uh, is where sort of feel comes into it and it'll be interesting to see if we can do that we've gone directly over the bunker let's see what that does in terms of sit oh it goes in the bunker so it's half a shot and it needed three quarters of a shot. But what I like is the fact that you're able to take a little bit off it, there's responsiveness into your hands and you get that feel that, like I said, when you put these, I don't know what category these now sit into, but this idea of whether it's game improvement, player's iron, whatever it comes into, the thing I will say about the P790s is they've got that little bit of feel into the hands and you've got a bit of control over what you're trying to execute, even though I didn't do it very well.
So the interesting one for me is if you use P790s already, uh, either of the two models, would you consider already changing to these? Because I don't think many of you will. And I don't think, to be quite honest with you, there's any point either. And the other interesting thing for me is how many golfers out there are now putting these on the wish list for 2021 because I think it's been a massive seller for TaylorMade and the previous two models have come out and I've got a feeling this is gonna be no different. Right, so the first ball you see me hit there was with the uh, previous model, the 29 version, um, and it felt great to be honest, you had no complaints whatsoever. We're a little bit far out here, so I'm not gonna reach the flag. We're uphill playing 170 and I've got seven iron in hand, but I want to just see the noise difference between the two if I can. Ball set off down the left, which is where you need to be. Like I said, it ain't going to reach it. In terms of difference, in terms of sound, I honestly couldn't tell a great deal of difference between the two. If anything, what they've managed to do is just make this just a little bit more muted and a little bit softer. I always said that the criticism with the sort of hollow bodied forged irons is they're not pure forged irons as we know. And I think that move towards trying to make them softer in feeling more forged like, they've probably gone a little bit of a step further, but no massive difference in terms of that feel. That's a great iron to finish. Should be heart of the green. Sit. Ah, that's quite nice. So that's the longest iron I've got in the bag, which is the five iron. That went bullet straight. It looked as though it sat down fairly well from this elevated tee. And again, to be honest with you, this is where by, it's almost the opposite of what I said of the nine iron, where the nine iron was perhaps a little bit too bulky and I'd look to go to the P770s. This is the exact same opposite where the, the top line doesn't differ that much in terms of what I was seeing from the, the nine iron, to be honest with you, and that kind of like, but it's got that bulk and mass and address, not too bulky by the way, but gives you that bit of confidence. So for me, the ideal scenario right now would be P770s, like I said, up to seven iron, but then once I got into the six, five, and possibly four iron, I'd be straight into these P790s. Solid out the middle of the club, feel is good without being, it's worth pointing out at this stage, I don't think there will ever be a hollow bodied iron that says it's forged, that is actually the same feeling as a fully forged club. That's never gonna happen. But what they've done here, it's got a good mix of the two where it feels really good without being as good as being forged, if that's your thing. But you've got plenty of help and, and um, whether you call it technology, whatever speed foam is, whatever you wanna look at that uh, assistance that you get out of the modern day iron, it's built into this thing and it's played incredibly well. And it's probably a great way to an iron to finish and a great way to finish the video really. I think the thing for me about P790s is right from when they first came on the scene in 2017, they were a real eye opener, a great club and appeal to the masses. And I think they've just continued to roll that forward. And the only thing that I can see that's changed here is slight in the visuals, in the way the club is uh, designed in terms of its overall shaping, and it probably sits much better in, in terms of a blended set with the P770s. But it just ticks every box and it's going to appeal to a lot of golfers. So that's me done. I hope you enjoyed the video this morning. It came from Carden Park in Cheshire, just in case those of you are interested. It's been absolutely superb, as has the weather. So comments down below, are P790s on your agenda? And uh, if you've tried previous models, what are your thoughts? And are these going to be something that you will consider looking at? in 2020, 2020, 2021, right? I'll see you all soon.